Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will formally define the meaning of integer division. We will need integer division algorithm in the next segments. Currently, I will first define what is the meaning of A divides B. Okay, so let's assume A and B are integers. It can be positive, negative, zero, whatever, just integers. Integers, mean, when we say integers, um, integers are countable numbers like zero, one, two, three, and so on. And on the negative side, minus one, minus two, minus three, and so on. So it's infinite set. Okay, so when do we say a number A divides a number B? Uh, more formally, uh, we say A divides B, with notation like this, A, and a vertical line, B, right? What it means is that, it means there exists a number Q, we use the notation there exists a number Q. So you need to find an integer Q, uh, Q must uh, be an integer number, not, not fraction, okay? It must be an integer. Integer is denoted by the set Z. A divides B means you're able to find a number Q such that B is equal to Q times A. Q has to be an integer, okay? That's the meaning of this. So let me give you some examples. Say A to B minus three and B to B 12, okay? We can see that A divides B, right? Because we can easily write uh, 12, is equal to minus four times minus three, okay? Later, I will explain an algorithm how to find the Q yourself using a, a systematic procedure, but currently assume my Q is minus four, and therefore this is my B, and this is my A, okay? Let me give you more examples. What about five? A equal to five, and B is equal to 10. Yeah, obviously, five divides 10. We can check it because Q is two. Okay, just very quickly, 10 is equal to two times five. All right, what about um, zero? Let's use zero. Um, does four divide zero? Okay, this is an interesting situation. The answer is yes. The reason is that we can write zero is equal to zero times four. It follows the definition. The definition says you should be able to find a Q. Uh, this is my Q. And uh, of course, this is my B and this is my A. So this is B and A. So I'm able to satisfy the definition. Okay, so four divides zero. But on the other hand, just to be clear, zero doesn't divide four. Okay, if you put A equal to zero, uh, B equal to four, right? You can't write four equal to zero times something. That's not possible, right? Four equal to whatever Q you put times zero is going to be zero all the time.